I'm Marcy Fraser. Otosclerosis is a type of hearing loss that affects approximately 1% of adults, and more women than men are affected. There's about a 2 to 1 ratio of women more commonly than males. Um, it seems as if there might be a hormonal link, so frequently women complain of a drop in hearing during a pregnancy, and that's often when they appear after the child's been born. Otosclerosis is a type of hearing loss that affects people ages 20 to 30. It can be genetic, but not in John Gavin's case. He began to lose his hearing when he was 35. Um, and I noticed I'd be looking at people and they'd be talking and I'd only hear bits and pieces of what they were saying. It's caused by a buildup of calcification on one of the hearing bones called the stirrup. It gets fixed in position, no longer works, which results in hearing loss. It's the tiniest bone in our body becomes fixed in position and the joint that normally moves with that becomes fixed and then prevents the drum from vibrating and the bones stop moving. Instead of a hearing aid, John opted for otosclerosis surgery, but that was 10 years ago. It worked then, but he needs surgery on the other ear now, which means the calcified hearing bone in his ear will be replaced with a tiny prosthesis shown here on this penny. John's prepped and ready for surgery. For some people who are losing their hearing, they blame it on the aging process. Don't rush into blaming it on another birthday. It may be otosclerosis. In order to make the distinction, you need a hearing test by an audiologist. A hearing test will help us determine whether there's a nerve loss or whether there's a conductive hearing loss. The surgery will hopefully restore all of John's hearing. Stay tuned for tomorrow for part two of his story, Will It Be a Success? For Healthy Living, I'm Marcy Fraser.